Even the nose tells a story. Airbus and Boeing split over what materials should face the wind, all composite or a return to metal. The Airbus A350's nose is almost entirely composite, including the pressure dome and outer skin. It was part of Airbus's full commitment to carbon fibre. Lighter weight, smoother aerodynamics, and a seamless look. The Boeing 787 went a different way. While the fuselage barrels are composite, the nose section remains aluminium alloy. Why? Impact resistance. Around the ray dome and windscreen, Boeing trusted metal to handle bird strikes and ground knocks better than early composites. Airbus doubled down, proving composites could handle every part of the airframe. Boeing hedged. Composites where weight savings mattered most, but aluminium where impacts were most likely. For airlines, it's a maintenance trade. The A350's composite nose saves weight and reduces fatigue, but repairs can take longer. The 787's aluminium nose is heavier, but field crews worldwide know exactly how to patch it quickly. So, which nose philosophy wins? Airbus with full composites, or Boeing with metal where the impacts land? Future-proof or fail-safe? You decide.